Greetings and welcome, and yes, as the title suggests, I'll be playing a little Ultima for you today, specifically the 1994 Apple IIGS version. Now for the three of you in the gaming world unfamiliar with the series, here's a brief history for you. In 1979, a young high school senior named Richard Garriott is working at a computer land store in Texas selling Apple IIs. This was before his alter ego Lord British would soon take over. Richard didn't much care for the simple arcade games available and decided to program his own game called the Calibeth using Applesoft Basic. He then sold the game directly from the store. Now the game sold surprisingly well and so he had it published and then used the key role-playing elements to build his next game, Ultima, which of course would spawn one of the longest running franchises in computer gaming history. Skip ahead to 1994. An updated Apple IIGS version of the game is converted by the legendary Burger Bill Heinemann, currently known as Rebecca Heinemann. He had converted other great ports to the GS, including Task Times and Tone Town, Out of This World, Crystal Quest, Stalactites, and the completed but unreleased SimCity GS. And that's enough of a history lesson. Let's play some Ultima. Now, I'm not old enough to really remember the excitements of the early days of the franchise. I kind of missed the boat, so I didn't really ever get into Ultima as much as a lot of people, but to be fair, I'm not really a big RPG fan in general, with a few exceptions. So in conclusion, I'm probably the last person you want to have review this game. So why are you watching this video? Well, <laughs> probably for the same reason I'm making it, because there's no video of the 2GS version anywhere. Online, offline, in between lines, just doesn't exist, which is surprising considering the popularity of the franchise. And by the way, the musical score during the game was composed by Tony Gonzalez, who has actually passed away very recently, so bad news. Rest in peace, man. And here is the character generation screen. Pretty standard stuff. Well, by today's standards, anyway. Just assign your different traits and your race. Am I a human? No, I'm a bobbit. Whatever the hell that is. And I'm a male fighter. So, yeah, basically just assign the different traits of your character, give it a name, save it, and onward in your quest. And the plot of the game is pretty standard stuff. You got this evil wizard doing bad things to good people, and guess who's going to save them? Well, not the townspeople, that's for sure. Yeah, why are they always so helpless? No, it's you, the hero. And here is the kingdom of Caesarea. Caesarea, you're breaking my heart. Oh, wait, it's a different song. All right, let's enter into the castle of Lord British. And you're the little blue thing. Yeah, you'll notice the graphics haven't really been updated that much. I mean, yeah, it's better than the 1980 version, but considering 14 years had gone by, you would think it would be even better. But you know what? I think that's partly because it's more of an homage to... You know, the original version and the players that enjoyed it. And so I think for hardcore Ultima fans, uh, this was probably really appealing. And it's exactly what they were looking for. You know, it's much faster, obviously. You got music. But yeah. But yeah, you can still see, you know, graphically, there's no way I would know what these different stores are if they weren't labeled, uh, which is pretty funny. But let's pick up some chain mail. And... I'll need a weapon. Where's my knight sword? Well, I guess mace will have to do. The hell kind of a knight carries mace with him? Ah, predator! And I don't have any food to buy. Can I sell it? Used food? No thanks. I guess not. What? You don't want my food? It's a perfectly good half-eaten apple. So really the next step is just to rack up on HP and get some money to buy stuff. And you can't do that by walking on water. No, you can do that by entering into the mines, though. And defeating some villains and getting treasure and let me ready myself with armor first. And enter into the mines of Mount Drash. Well, gee, that's a conspicuous-looking thief. Skeletor! Actually, that looked more like Spinal from Killer Instinct. Spinal! Yay! Eight copper, one silver. 
and you climb up and down uh, ladders by hitting K for climb. Ah, Splinter! Master Yoshi, what are you doing down here? Yeah, all the commands are just based on different uh, shortcut keys. A for attack, obviously. What are these guys just lining up one after another? Where's my mace? Stranger danger! Yeah, I'll notice the graphics are just basic wireframes, just like it was in the original, so... I wonder if people consider this like one of the first third-person shooters, just without the shooter. Thou must face the ladder. Ah, crap. Get up! Ooh, escaped. Notice I gained 182 HP for surviving that mayhem. So that's definitely a good way to increase that until you hit a thousand and reach the next level. But I am starting to run a little low on food, so I'm going to buy some more. You notice that when you're outside, every step you take, you actually lose food. Uh, the game's actually very strict about that, so if you lose all of your HP, you're dead. If you lose all of your food, you're dead. So it's somewhat realistic in that respect, but the realism is quickly discredited once you start using space shuttles and time machines. Yes, you heard me right. The game really went all out there. Alright, let's go back into the mines and get some more points. Now, there's actually a lot of random aspects to the game, like when the attackers will appear and how many hits it takes to destroy them. So you always got to be on your toes. A lot of times they'll start attacking you from behind too, so you gotta watch out. You really have to pay attention to the monitor there. Alright, let's go back down. Get my chest. And see, this time there's only three silver and no copper. Robin Hood! Everybody makes a cameo in this. Okay, I'm losing massive amounts of... Oh, crap. <laughs> wow. I just lost, like, 100 HP in, like, 5 seconds. And I have resurrected. So I can't walk on water, but I can resurrect. Interesting. Well, anyway, there you go. A quick look at Ultima for the Apple IIGS. Thanks for watching.